It's time to get the shovel and salt ready. AccuWeather meteorologists use different tools and factors, like the snow to water ratio, to forecast what type of snow is expected. You take 10 inches of snow and it will melt down into one inch of water. That's the standard 10 to 1 ratio that everybody talks about. In very wet snows, it might be 6 or 8 to 1. The temperature at street level makes a big difference. If it gets into the upper 20s, low 30s, it's going to have a, 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 a wetter consistency to it, and it makes it much harder to shovel, especially when you've got more amounts to it. It's very water laden, very heavy stuff. It's like lifting concrete. And the lower the temperature, usually it's a drier, more powdery uh, consistency. How cold the air is through different layers of the atmosphere determines how much snow melts as it falls to the ground. Clouds with more supercooled water droplets can create heavy, wet snow compared to clouds with more ice crystals, dropping fluffy, drier snow. Windy conditions can fracture snowflakes and reduce snowfall totals. As you get into colder air masses, those ratios can be 15 to 1, 20 to 1, 30 to 1. In other words, so you need 30 inches of snow maybe in those really powdery snows that would melt down into one inch of water. Whether the weight of the snow is light or heavy, doctors say we should always shovel with our knees bent and lift with your legs. Be sure to take plenty of breaks, especially if you have any medical or heart conditions. Your body is burning a lot of extra energy just staying warm. Um, then we put on more layers and, and that makes uh, physical activity more difficult and more bulky. And now we're shoveling snow, especially if it's a wet snow, very heavy. So if you have like four, five, six inches of snow, don't try to get the whole thing up at once. If you're lifting a heavier snow, lift it in layers. For AccuWeather, I'm Bill Waddell.